You know how the old saying goes, give a man a fish and he'll feed himself for a day. Teach a man a fish and he'll end up on some insane YouTube video after accidentally catching himself a blue whale, swallowing up his entire boat in the process. Hey, it's 2020 guys, and the proverb has come a long way since the old days. The truth is, fishing is one of the oldest pastimes on the planet, and whether it's commercial fishing or just plain old relaxation, this tried and tested method requires some patience, some grit, and of course, a camera. From gigantic tuna to angry sea lions, here's the 15 most surprising fishing moments in the world. Oh, what are you doing? The Cast Net Fishing Lottery in India. All right, for our first entry into these turbulent waters, let's take a moment to enjoy the serene beauty and meditative practices that fishing has traditionally provided throughout the ages. No matter where you are on the planet, even if you're in the most landlocked country on Earth, fishing has a big part to play for the community. But for the coastal people of Tamil in southern India, fishing is the pillar in which their civilization is built around. Take a look at these extraordinary sights as a group of fishermen use the tri and tested method of cast net fishing in order to reap the bountiful blessings of the sea. In truly astonishing numbers, these fishermen employ an expert methodology to maximize their catch, and as they lift their nets from the waters, thousands of flapping fish are brought to the surface. Along the coastline of southern India, there are over 600 fishing villages that provide most of the country with their supply of fish, and so the Tamil Nadu people have been celebrated as some of the most capable and incredible fishermen on the planet. While the people of Tamil Nadu have taken some liberties with the traditional cast net practice, it's thought that the technique originated in the Polynesian islands of the Pacific, where fishing was heralded as an almost sacred skill. Amazing. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Alright, while on the topic of fishing with a huge net, let's turn our attention toward this extraordinary photograph reportedly taken by a crew member aboard an industrial leveling fishing vessel. Sure, if you were the captain aboard this ship, you'd be overjoyed at the potential payday coming, right? Well, although traditional net fishing is an incredible and sustainable way to provide for communities, drag net fishing is increasingly seen as an unsustainable practice in our oceans, often causing more harm than good to the oceanic ecosystems. Although this is a a huge haul, these large-scale fishing practices are decimating the world's oceans. So what do you think? Be sure to join the conversation below by using the hashtag MissingTopic. Before we move on, smash that like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell right now. If you don't, a venomous viper will appear in your bed tonight. So do what's best for you. Giant Marlin jumps onto boat. In the world of extreme deep sea fishing, marlin are some of the most coveted variety of fish, particularly blue and black marlin, and of course, as comes with the territory, they're also some of the most dangerous. While you may think that the sharks may be some of the most dangerous fishing adversaries on the planet, and sure they are, marlin do things a little differently. Prone to jumping straight out of the ocean, marlin are notorious for their ravenous needle-like nose that they thrash around once they're caught, and in many cases it's resulted in some extreme injuries. Take a look at this incredible video where a seemingly seasoned deep sea fisherman watches in shock and horror as a giant marlin is hauled onto the boat, him so much that his only option was to bail overboard. As the giant fish emerges from the water, its long body begins thrashing about the deck in a terrifying display, and in an attempt to escape, the crew member figures that the ocean is a safer place than his own boat. Yeah guys, that's precisely how dangerous these things are. Who would have thought that, right? A fisherman hauling in one of the biggest catches imaginable, only to decide that the sea is a safer place. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Sea Lion Vents at Russian Fishermen Sure, this list may be about surprising fishing moments, but as far as we know, the ocean is home to a multitude of incredible creatures. However, even if you were the most seasoned sailor on the seven seas, you certainly wouldn't want to find this next entry on the end of your line. Take a look at this astonishing moment, recorded back in 2014 when an angry sea lion decided to take its revenge on a group of fishermen after being accidentally caught in their nets and dragged on board their boat. The Russian vessel, which has been trawling the Russian Pacific coast, was hauling in their nets 
when they discovered the gigantic creature thrashing about inside, and after freeing it from the line, they lowered it down onto the deck. Although the crew tried their utmost to calm the creature, obviously it was pretty darn enraged after being plucked from the ocean, and one Russian fisherman took the brunt of the sea lion's anger as it thrashed across the deck. Astonishingly, it's not quite done just yet, and the sea lion then moves across the deck looking for a way to escape before then taking on the ship's dog, taking a chunk out of it in the process. As you may imagine, the extraordinary event was pretty darn terrifying for everyone involved, and the crew thankfully managed to get the sea lion back in the water after soaking it down with an onboard hose. Whew. Piranha Bites Pro Fisherman for centuries, stories of the ravenous piranha fish have circulated across the rivers and waterways of the world, often resulting in a terrifying tale of gruesome urban legend where an unfortunate victim succumbs to these ravenous tiny creatures. Well, while the piranha is pretty tame for the most part, and the urban legends that surround this creature have never been proven true, this next surprising moment may suggest otherwise. Take a look at a small boat filled with fishermen hauls on board a black piranha. Overjoyed with her catch to begin with, the thrill of the catch is quickly cut short as the piranha takes a huge chomp out of the fisherman's finger. As it turns out, this fish was actually a black piranha, a creature that has the most powerful bite of any animal in history, even a legendary prehistoric T-Rex. Astonishingly, outsized jaw muscles allow the black piranha to exert a bite force equivalent to over 30 times its own body weight, a feat currently unmatched in the natural world. In fact, relative to their own size, piranhas outperform pretty much every prehistoric monster, even the whale-chomping megalodon. It may be pint-sized, but it sure packs a punch. Guys, like I said we can either do the, the dub hunting thing or we can go back in those Magnet Fisherman Finds Grenade Uh, sure, pretty much every entry on this list requires some degree of skill when it comes to perfecting the fine art of line fishing, catch net fishing, or piloting the deep sea vessels that tackle the ravenous oceans. But have you ever heard of magnet fishing? Well, amazingly, magnet fishing, where people hunt for metal and treasures submerged in canals and rivers, is actually increasing in popularity, with thousands of brave new fishing pioneers uploading videos of their unbelievable finds on YouTube. Amazing. Amazingly, the hobby has been championed as a combination of environmentalism and treasure hunting, cleaning up the waterways and polluted rivers across the planet while potentially finding some valuable objects in the process. However, while it sounds pretty amazing, there are some terrifying dangers to be found beneath the water. Earlier this year, a popular magnet fishing channel known as Magnetic G pulled up a deadly World War II grenade left over in a murky canal. The event was so serious that a bomb squad had to be called to the location, where they evacuated any nearby residents and carried out a controlled explosion. After the bomb squad seriously surveyed the event, they determined that the grenade was so unstable that it could have exploded at any point. Whew, these magnet fishermen were pretty lucky. <laughs> spear fisherman gets head bitten. All right, from magnet fishing to spear fishing. And believe us, it doesn't get any more extreme than this. Throughout history, many cultures across the planet have pioneered their own method of spear fishing in order to pluck the freshest food possible straight from the source of a river or coastal ocean. And now, in modern times, spear fishing has become somewhat of a thrill seeking hobby for many brave adventurers, such is the case with fishermen. Will Krause, a Florida resident who came face to face with one of the most terrifying creatures possible while spearfishing in the Bahamas with his friends. Take a look at this extraordinary footage where Will, who was swimming through a coral reef just off the coast, came face to face with a seven foot reef shark that appeared out of nowhere to ravage his head and neck. Terrifyingly, the creature made its way out of the murky blue to attack Will, where it seemed that he was a goner, but for some reason, the shark suddenly released him. Will later reported that the only thing he could remember is the sound of the crunch of his head, which, as you may imagine, wasn't a pleasant sound at all. Incredibly, Will only suffered minor injuries and lived to tell the tale with GoPro footage included. Shark! 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 Oh. 
Amazonian fisherman finds giant anaconda. Okay, while there may be some pretty hardcore locations on Earth for you to earn a living as a fisherman, surely the Amazon River is the most terrifying of them all, right? Well, if it was ever in doubt, then this next terrifying story will surely seal the deal. Back in 2014, while fishing throughout the legendary Santa Maria River in Brazil's southwestern territories, a group of men filmed the unbelievable moment that they hauled a huge serpent from the murky depths of the Amazon River. In one of the most insane fishing moments imaginable, the group pulled forth a huge Brazilian anaconda from the river, and at one point, the animal became so stressed that it nearly swallowed the entire group. The serpent in question, which was estimated to be at least 17 feet long, was believed to have been chowing down on its lunch before it was brought to the surface, which frankly is just plain rude. At one point in the video, things get pretty hairy, and we have to highlight the fact that the trio of men put the animal in a seriously distressing situation. While the anaconda ultimately escaped unharmed, the three men were later fined over $600 each by the Brazilian authorities for hunting wildlife without a license. <laughs> Great White Shark Interrupts Tuna Fisherman Alright, speaking of being rudely interrupted at an inopportune moment, try this next one out for size. Now there are a few creatures in the ocean that are as symbolically terrifying as the Great White Shark, and although they're certainly not the most nightmare-inducing creature on the planet, they're definitely the last thing that an amateur fisherman would ever dream of catching, and believe it or not, it occurred in a pretty unlikely place, the Adriatic coast of Italy, a coastal location not usually associated with the terrifying toothy predators in question. Back in 1998, while a small boy was fishing off of a local pier, a great white shark emerged from the water in an effort to claim the catch for itself. The event was so terrifying that nearby holiday makers were forced to flee the beaches, as it was believed to be the first time that a great white species had ever been sighted in this area. The shark, which was said to have been around 18 feet, somehow managed to swallow the fisherman's catch hole, before then dragging the fishing rod beneath the water. What the heck? Although the event was incredibly rare back in the late 90s, now it seems the great white sharks are increasingly popping up at locations that they usually wouldn't have roamed before. We're gonna need some bigger boats, right? <laughs> Mako Shark Jumps Onto Boat Okay, while we're on the subject of terrifying sharks and the fishermen who accidentally catch them, let's take a look at this next unbelievable entry. Well, while we say catch, what we really mean is somehow flung out of the ocean at incredible speeds and getting itself lodged into the ship's rigging. As you can see from this absolutely insane footage, back in 2017, an energetic Mako Shark took a group of fishermen by surprise when it leapt into their boat and became tangled by the vessel's rigging. However, while this distressing footage seems to be the end of the line for our unfortunate Finn friend, worry not, because there's a happy ending to this tangled tale. As the footage shows, initially, the crew were both terrified and gobsmacked that the event had even occurred, but after a few minutes of composing themselves, the crew managed to loop a rope around the shark's tail and eventually lower the beast back into the water. Phew, close call, right? <laughs> Kitten Rescue Alright, we've had marlin fishing, tuna fishing, great white shark fishing, even sea lion fishing. None of them come close to this next unexpected entry, cat fishing. Well, kitten fishing technically. Wait, catching kittens? Isn't that incredibly cruel hearted and just plain evil? What are the kittens even doing in the lake? We have so many questions. Well, fear not, because this heroic tale of kitten rescuing shows two brave fishermen risking their pole catching credibility to save a pair of stranded baby felines. While on a fishing trip to Warrior River in Hueytown, Alabama, two friends, Jason Frost and Brandon Key, were idly waiting for something to bite their lines when they heard a strange splashing sound nearby. At first, the pair couldn't quite make out what had made that noise, but after a few moments of silence, they heard the distinct sound of meowing and quickly spotted a waterlogged cat desperately swimming toward them. As the pair are initially astonished by what they're seeing, a baby orange tabby paddles toward the boat before one of the men picks it up. Amazingly, as the kitten starts drying off, the pair spot another cat paddling towards them, an identical kitten, which turned out to be its twin. Once the pair had returned to shore, fate delivered a bewildered family who had witnessed the whole event, and incredibly, they took the kittens in as their own. It isn't entirely clear how the kittens ended up on that lake but it is believed that they were sadly abandoned in a nearby river before washing down into the lake proper. Life finds a way, right? Hmm. 
Humpback whale almost swallows diver. Ever heard the parable about Jonah and the whale? Pure fiction, right? How can a tiny human survive being swallowed whole by a giant whalefish monster? Well, if this next astonishing entry is anything to go by, then this tale of biblical proportions may at least seem plausible. Back in 2013, this extraordinary footage was captured after a group of deep sea scuba divers were exploring near California's Avila Beach. Little did they know that deep beneath the murky blue waves, a group of humpback whales were feeding on a pocket of krill in a super close call, the whales careened through the waves with their mouths wide open without realizing that the divers were bobbing about above. <laughs> Holy shit. Now it's important to note that humpback whales are baleen whales and so are incredibly docile and not predatory in the slightest and of course, as a rule, they do not eat humans. Yikes. Still pretty close call, right? Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Russian fishermen asleep on the job. While regular fishing is found in almost every corner of the planet, in the colder places on Earth, it requires a little ingenuity and creativity in order to snag yourself a frosty line. In the Northern Hemisphere, particularly Northern Canada, Alaska, and Russia, ice fishing has become a symbolic pastime of the hardy adventurers who brave the frozen landscape, carve a hole in the ice, and hope that a fish will take the bait. However, in some frozen towns and cities in Russia, the locals enjoy ice fishing a little too much. Like this guy, a Russian fisherman who had carved a hole in the ice, dropped his line, and then enjoyed a few sips of vodka while he waited. And waited and waited to the point where he forgot all about the ice fishing and decided to have a much needed snooze instead. Hey, it's a hobby for a reason, right? Which? Oh, hmm. <laughs> oh. Mali Fishing Ritual All right, while Russian ice fishing may have become a symbolic national pastime, this next entry is one of the most incredible displays of community we've ever seen, highlighting the importance of traditional fishing practices and the role that they play in society. Once a year, in the West African country of Mali, the people of the Dogon charge into the sacred Antogo Lake in a traditional practice that has dated back thousands of years. In a wild flurry of activity, the doggone people grab at the water in a feverish attempt to snatch a fish after they've been cornered into a shallow water. To the doggone people, the Antogo Lake is incredibly sacred, and as the country is mainly composed of the Sahara Desert and the dry steppes of the Sahel, natural water is hard to come by. Throughout the year, it's illegal to fish in the lake, save for one day a year when the doggone people fish together in a celebration of their ancestors. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Jackpot Bluefin Tuna Catch All right, we should probably address the elephant in the room, or more importantly, the tuna in the ocean, because while each and every one of these entries have been incredible and surprising displays of oceanic exploration, when it comes to the real big bucks on the ocean, there's only one fish in question, bluefin tuna. While you may have been resigned to the sad truth of canned tuna, bluefin tuna as a whole is considered to be one of the most expensive fish in the ocean, with the largest specimens selling for over $3 million per tuna. Back in 2019, a 612-pound fish sold at auction for the record-breaking amount, and it seems that anyone lucky enough to catch an oversized bluefin tuna is in for a pretty hefty payday. Have you guys ever caught a bluefin tuna? <laughs> Let us know down below. Rainy the Fishing Dog And for our final entry into this surprising world of deep sea fishing, what better note to end on than with the man's best friend? Wait, what? Dogs can fish too? Well, yeah, you better believe it. Feast your eyes on Rainy the Fishing Dog, an incredible golden retriever and expert fisher dog who was captured on camera as she caught a huge catfish for her owners before bringing it back to shore. While you may have seen fishermen across the planet utilizing birds and other animals in order to complete their catch, Rainy the Fishing Dog seems to offer a brand new partnership in the fishing world. After her first video went viral, she's since been seen catching dozens of fish and even a turtle too. What do you guys think? Would you love to have a dog like Rainy? Let us know down below. Well, there we have it, the 15 most surprising fishing moments in the world. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to leave a thumbs up while you're at it. Thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.